Shauna and Kiefer Thompson. It's Thompson Square Hello. in the Bing Lounge. Girl, tell me about those shoes. Oh. Everyone wants to know. I, everyone was talking about it. In front of your back, not behind your back. No, um, I got them in Off-Broadway. Yes, that's the you best. Know, we have those. Yeah. I think we have those here, don't we? It's a shoe store. Off-Broadway, <laughs> yes. She's, Monica yeah. doesn't know. So, uh, hi, guys. Welcome. I know. I know. See, there's a baby. Yeah, we brought the baby. This is kind of a tactical thing here. It's like a gift. Here. We here, come bringing gifts. Yeah. Tracy. <laughs> if you bring a baby, yeah, they'll see? like you, right? <laughs> Oh, you want oh, that? Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He knows you know what's what he's going to do for a living. Yeah. <laughs> so we know it's, it's terribly, you know, terribly uncomfortable when radio people ask a married couple about babies in an interview. <laughs> Unless he's you have a baby and then it's okay, right? Uh, that's why I brought him up as a tactical prop. So. <laughs> um, uh, no how pressure. Is, yeah, how no is pressure. the pressure from, uh, let's just start with the in-laws about uh, babies down the line for you guys. You know, there's, there's not any pressure from them. There's more pressure from the fans. Really? Yeah. It's, Way to go, uh, Jake. It's pretty crazy. After seeing that cutie pie, though. Right, man. exactly. Yeah. We're going to go right back to the bus and get what started. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? This is uh, Carson. This is my boy Carson. If you the last, we'll just do it right here. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're streaming live. As far as you know, yeah. charge yeah. for that. Hey, there's some ratings for you. They can do. A little ratings boost. <laughs> Actually, as we mentioned, we have two dogs on the bus, and right now that's pretty much all we can handle. I don't think it's getting crowded. Handled. Jake, baby let him have just yet. the dog. Uh, that's I'm, but hey, I have the baby. I get to ask the questions, right? And, press, and so you say pressure from the fans. Like, what does what in forum does that come in? Just they're constant just, barrage just, of questions. They just want us to when you having a kid, when you having a kid, you know. And, and I mean, obviously, uh, you know, my parents are, are wanting it, but they know that. I mean, it would just be. I, I can't imagine how insane it would be, because the 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 dichotomy is a little bit different. Because you know, we're all, we're both on the road, so there's not one that can stay on the bus and take care of the kid. You know, it's like we both have to. Like little big town does it because you know some of their spouses are off, off, you know. Off we the definitely stage. have to have a nanny of some yeah. sort. Yeah, right. Well, that's. I mean, that's the natural evolution of this. I mean, you guys are only on the way up. There's not going to be ever time to have a kid. I'm. Well, that's okay. That's what you know. <laughs> they no, say you can never pressure. plan for that, right? That's right. Well, I mean, you know, everybody who's ever told me about kids is like, you don't wait till you're ready because you're never going to be ready. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just go. So, well, I, so go. Go. <laughs> Gio. All right, let's go. I keep trying. Finish the show and then go, all right? <laughs> worked out yet. Yeah. But no, uh, more about the... <laughs> I'll switch topics now. More about the, the boots. Are you uh, into that stuff, or is this like your one pair that you wear around, Shauna? Um, actually, this is the first time I've wore these. Um, we've been out with Luke Bryan this year, and he's got this grid all over the stage, so I can only wear, like, biker boots, like flat boots. So I was like... Yay, we're here in Portland, and there's no grid to worry ankle, about. Ankle breakers right there. I broke out the heels today for y'all. Hey, that's a good idea. That way I could still Wedges. have that look. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that, too. I hate these shoes, man. Oh, my gosh. So hey. we're really excited about the new single. If you want to tell everyone what's coming on with that, we're really excited to hear it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's out now, and uh, the brand new video uh, was released to CMT a few days ago, and then GAC, and um, Kiefer really, wrote it. Um, it's done really, well, we were, um, first of all, I have to dress, I said I hate the shoes, and I didn't get to say what, why. <laughs> oh, was that our Everyone job? was like, uh, hey, hey, Kiefer, uh, why? <laughs> uh, well, because I'm 5'8", and she's 5'7", so there's not a whole lot of play there. So like on the like the award shows and stuff, we had the stylist. We had to we had to end up just getting rid of him because he kept giving her these shoes that were like ten freaking feet tall, and it made me feel very emasculated. And, uh, <laughs> so we were like, man, just just drop the shoes down a little bit, you know. And he just wouldn't do it. So um, and these are some of the if you, we'll stand up together and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's just really weird. You can find her in a crowd though. <laughs> She's taller, you yeah, know. Yeah, you yeah. You just can't see easy. me at all. <laughs> <laughs> The beauty. Just let the beauty shine. Just let it happen. No, no this uh, this single. We're so excited about it. You know, we haven't um, we haven't actually had a, a like a funnish uh, type song for the summertime. So, um, like last, uh, I guess it was last year we wrote this or I wrote this. We uh, we were in Breckenridge, Colorado, at our uh, agents got a beautiful place out there, and uh, David Lee Murphy, which you probably have heard of him, uh, he wrote everything, and uh, <laughs> Brett James wrote the other half. Uh, they came out, and uh, we wrote about, I think, seven songs in a couple of days. And um, Sean was, she slept in this morning, and uh, she got up, she made breakfast for us, and we, uh, the guys were kind of talking about, you know, things we shouldn't be thinking about, and she was like, you guys are all the same, you know? <laughs> and uh, I was like, yeah, 
Um, we kind of are the same, all of us. So we wrote a song about it called Everything I Should Be Thinking About, and uh, it just it just made sense. <laughs> and it, 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 it was really easy when you know what you should be thinking about. <laughs> you just write the words down, and, and uh, you're pretty much done. And then you, we wrote the girls' verse, uh, obviously, and it was just what we what we wish the girls were thinking about. <laughs> So that was that was easy too, you know. So yeah, hopefully it's a hit, you know. I don't know. Everyone likes it so far. It's so very see. relatable to both sexes. So yeah, you guys, yeah. it'll be awesome. We're excited. Thank you. You guys ready for some more Thompson Square music here tonight? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, keep it going for Thompson Square. Well, Should we do the new I, single now? That was a pretty good segue about? there yeah. for us. Yeah, so hit that.